Hello everyone and welcome back to my colonization series in Kerbal Space Program 0 0.90 Beta. In this episode I'm going to start off with trying to resolve some of the stuff with this station. We really don't need the tug hanging out here now and I want to move the, the mining unit which is over here over to our new base on Minmus. So first things first I am going to let's see try and take control over this thing. Okay control from here all right, and now let's unclamp from this thing. Release. Okay, so our tug will move itself into a separate orbit. It's got plenty of fuel, as you can see, so didn't need to refuel before doing this. So yeah, we will disarm the claw and move it into a separate orbit just for safety. Uh, let's move it into a higher orbit actually because it's likely to be transferred out. We've still got the Class A asteroid in orbit around Minmus but that we will deal with with uh, it'll either just hang around as a uh, moon of Minmus or we're going to send over a docking port with another claw and bring it on over to the station here. But yep, I think this will be uh, primed for duty to capture another asteroid perhaps. That's a thing that I've been planning to do for a while, but we got uh, sidetracked because of the upgrade to 0 0.90 and uh, during the upgrade to 0 0.90 we lost the asteroid contract that I was originally aiming for. So here we go, uh, higher orbit, and then I'm going to uh, circularize on the other side. Okay, that is sufficient. We'll go back to Minus Station. Okay, here with Kirstead and Mitrick. There we go. But uh, we're going to take the mining unit out. It too has a controller that's sort of buried between everything else. Okay, there we go. Oh, I didn't check the fuel on this one. Oh, it's got plenty of mop. Oh, it's got too much liquid fuel and oxidizer. Okay, hold on. Let me back off and then redock. We need to transfer some of that. Okay, right. Now, I believe we can definitely transfer the top tank. All of that can go out. I should have had a little reserve tank just for landings. Doesn't look like I have that. That would make things easier. Uh, like I have with the with the um, fuel transfer vehicle that we've got down there right now. I think I'll just keep this and we'll transfer that back up if necessary later. But yeah, we'll just retain this fuel for hopping, if you will. Not just landing there, but perhaps relocating if necessary. All right. Okay, so now we need to hit our base. All right, well, I'll set that as a target for now and we'll adjust later. Okay, so that's just an initial descent burn. And now I have to figure out how to get the right inclination. Yeah, considering the rotation of Minmus, maybe we should do the correction at the other end so that we can both correct the inclination and get into a good approach. Maybe. Let, let's go around to that and see how far Minmus rotates. Precise node we really don't need right now. I've added it to everything these days because it was actually because of my Mars attempt missions that I've been doing on the side that I've uh, taken to Precise Node now, even though actually I think MechJib has its own little Precise Node sort of thing going inside of it. Somebody pointed that out. I didn't even realize that because that was uh, a relatively new thing to MechJib, at least not something that had been in there when I first learned MechJib. So yeah, my plan now for for everything, my grand scheme, is to do extraplanetary launch pads here but do all the MKS-OKS stuff on the moon. 
So if we need to create spare parts or stuff like that, for instance, that that sort of construction will go on on the moon. If we need to launch vessel, build and launch vessels, that will happen here on Minmus. That's that's the plan, and that'll prevent us from having duplicates of everything. Uh, I don't want to create a new NKS OKS uh, system over here. I mean, obviously we've already got OKS in orbit, but uh, not a new MKS system on the ground. So yeah, that is what I'm thinking right now. And then our moon base and our Minmus base will be able to work together. We'll have all sorts of transfers going between them. It'll very, be very dynamic. It won't be the most efficient thing. Of course, the most efficient thing would be having everything on Minmus. But that's sort of boring, isn't it? I mean, the moon is fun. The moon is exciting. Minmus, landing on Minmus is not the most exciting thing. I mean, uh, landing with precision on Minmus doesn't give you the same sense of accomplishment as landing on the moon does. Now this has to be within pipe range of everything so we can't just land it wherever. Okay, well now we have the LFO tanker selected. As long as we land somewhere within that area that'll be good. I guess we can take a look at uh, MechJeb landing guidance just for additional reference. Now I know that uh, okay, I know that this obviously doesn't take into consideration any burns that I do. So I'm just using it as reference. Certainly this number should be decreasing over time. If it uh, increases, I'm doing something wrong. Okay, looking good. Approaching. Still out of physics range of our target. This is Mimis. Uh, I'm not even vaguely worried about getting this right. We've got plenty of Delta V to relocate if necessary if I don't get it within 20 meters or so. No, we definitely need to go further north. Come on. Problem is, because we've got three different locations here, the physics range is staggered. Each of them sort of pops in at a different time. Okay, we can see the lights of the tower. And remember, landing sort of within the lights is the thing to do. Okay, on sheer ballistics we are 22 meters, should be getting it to 20 meters here. Well, the LFO tanker is in the middle of one of the petals of light, so I'm going to aim for another petal. Getting about 10 frames per second right now. There is some physics lag as well too. I gotta turn on RCS to help me turn this thing because the the reaction wheel isn't powerful enough. I forget if I put a distiller or whatever it is to convert the carbonite to monopropellant uh, onto the tower. We might have to have a separate little module for that. Well, it reads 16 meters, so I guess this is good enough. Plop. Okay, we are down on the surface. Let's get a Kerbal out and connect it up and see if it all works out. Uh, it looks a little bit far. Uh, let me let me get it a little bit closer. Okay, well, not a lot closer, but uh, mild improvement. Okay, RCS off. And, okay, let's switch vessels. No, not the asteroid docking port. No, not the emergency hab. Okay, there we go. Shovels and the Nemini Kermit. And I think we'll have Shovels do it this time. Now we've got a pipe endpoint here. We've got a lot of pipe endpoints on this vehicle. But we've also got plenty on that. So I think we'll connect it directly to this. 
We'll just grab one from here. Yeah, here, this is the reserve tank necessary for landings, so that makes it a lot easier to measure out the fuel. Okay, so grab that pipe endpoint. Oh, head bounce, okay. Up, he gets shovels, Kerman, out to hook up our drilling unit to the converter tower. Ooh, serious lag. I think it's quick saving. Okay, so the game crashed and it brought me all the way back to this thing landing. And that's not nice, but here we are. So, once again, I am going to try and land. But yeah, this install is still a tough one to keep stable. And it takes a long time to restart it, too. Okay, it's down. Let's try this again. RCS off. Probably used a lot more of that than I only used last time. Uh, did we have a... No, I don't think we have a mob propellant unit on this. We'll have to send over a something to convert mod propellant, uh, convert the carbonite to mod propellant. But anyway, um, back over to this and Shelbles once again. It wasn't Shelbles fault that we had a had a crash of the game, hopefully. I hope it's not the case that Shelbles will always cause a crash of the game. That would be unfortunate. I don't know, it just sort of randomly crashed when I moved him over here last time. RAM usage is pretty high. We're at 3.1 gigabytes. But, you know, that's pretty standard for this install. Of course, uh, we, we should uh, send over a better mining unit. We really don't need a huge carbonite tank. No really such a large what you got? Uh, liquid fuel and oxidizer tank. We just need solar panels, drilling unit, and controller. Uh, not even a docking port. So yeah. Okay, we're gonna attach it. Let's just attach it here. And we're gonna link. Up, up. And link. Alright, that's all linked up. Now shovels, head back over, don't knock into anything. So now after this I've got to figure out uh, exactly what else I want to send over here. And that means investigating extraplanetary launch pads a little bit more in detail. Should take a look at our contracts too, we've been spending a lot of money building up this base and I haven't uh, fulfilled any contracts recently. Okay, we don't need landing guidance anymore. What we do need is to start up operations here. So, uh, drilling units. Deploy drill. Okay, start carbonite drill. Looks like we should probably also have a... So we should have a, a distiller to convert to mop propellant over here. And maybe if we can drill for carborundum, we should have something to deal with that over here. And that'll sort of have our little mining station all set up so uh, we are we have got carbonite drilling there but not on this other drill carbonite is going in there we're going to have this portable carbonite no portable carbonite generator should be able to generate power now well we've got a full charge so I guess it's not strictly necessary Let's see now. Start LFO. Still doesn't seem to require any help here. Oh, it takes a long time to fuel up. I forgot that. Looks like electric charge is still pretty stable. Let's go into full night time and see. Now electric charge is depleting, but not by much. No, it's still pretty okay. 
I don't want to time warp through too much. Uh, the reason I'm uh, concerned now is because food, water, and oxygen, right? Um, if it's going to take a long time to fill this whole thing up, the LFO tanker, then they don't really have enough food, water, and oxygen over here, and I have to move them over to the emergency hat while it fills up. I think I'm going to do that right now. Uh, yeah, while, while this whole thing is filling up, shell bowls and uh, Denemone, you guys are going to have to go over to the emergency hab. Okay, uh, just let go. We're going to use your EVA pack. Okay, come on. Oh, wait. You're sort of floating but not using your EVA pack. Come on, EVA pack. Oh, it's in ragdoll mode, not able to use the UA pack. Okay. Okay, now can you use the UA pack? There we go. Yep, they don't seem to like to use their EVA pack in ragdoll mode. Uh, plop. Okay. Oh no, I don't know if I have enough solar panel re over here. We'll see. Let's get him in there and see how electric charge holds up. I mean, of course it's night time now, so not quite the right time to check, but anyway, here we go. A little bit. Crab. Oh no, 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 come on. Uh, okay, grab. Oh, come on. That was a simple maneuver, Shelbles. Okay, bored. Phew. All right. So you're in there. I've got 810 electric charge and these tiny little solar panels. No real way to use this carbonite generator because there's no carbonite storage tank on here. Well, anyway, plenty of food, water, and oxygen, though. How much do you have? Wow. Lots, lots and lots. Okay, let me jump back to the the main base. Try and keep EVA control during this, unlike your compadre over there. Okay, grab. And board. Alright, they're both in there. Now, let's see if they're alright for power over the course of a certain duration. It looks like it'll be alright. Yeah. Does not look like power is going to be a problem over here in the emergency hub. That's completely irrelevant. Uh oh. Whoa, don't do anything like that. Oh, yeah, well, it's glitchy. We know, we know. We know you're glitchy. No. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, and things are proceeding here very, very slowly. Okay, well, I guess that sells it over here. Let's head back to the Space Center and take stock of our situation. Okay, so here we are. Fun's not a problem. Science, sort of a problem. We've got a lot of reputation for us. Uh, maybe we should convert that reputation into science somehow. I haven't used the administration building at all. Uh, oh, but yeah, I don't think so. Um, okay, fundraising campaign we don't need. We want science. Uh, takes 5% reputation gains, yields, one times for each of those. Okay, let's... Let's say 50% on that. Setup cost, uh, 625. What, what, what is our actual number here? Well, it seems like we can afford it. Wish they had just a number display. I never knew how to figure out this scale. But, uh, yeah, uh, unpaid research program. I don't like the sound of that, but, uh, uh, hold on. Let's check this one out. Funds, income. Yeah, let's, let's up that too. So we'll have, uh, this contract. Uh, yeah, we, we could probably go to 30% at least on that. I want some funds after all, but, uh, Okay, let's do that. Yeah. And this one as well. Let's. I like a high reputation though, so let's go 30% on that as well. 
Yep. Wow, okay, so that, that knocked us down quite a lot. Okay, so that's actually uh, in tens. Okay. That wasn't very clear there. But anyway, uh, so we'll get more science from that through research. And so first deployment of strategies in this series. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at some contracts to see what we can do about this. Oh my word. What, what, what is this negative here? Oh, uh, I guess that's for our con uh, what, what we've set up, I hope. Yeah, I think that's 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 based on what we set up. Okay. Wow, four thousand five hundred and nineteen science, is that right? It is pretty crazy. What's what's the catch? There doesn't seem to be any catch. I think this this can't be right. I mean th th this is fine. We we we're uh, deliberately moving science over here, so that makes sense. That's a lot of science actually that we're getting. That was more than I expected. Well, that's easy. Bring a newly discovered Class A asteroid into orbit around Kerbin. That'll give our tugs something to do. Uh, we've got a lot of tugs around, but we've also got this other contract here. We've got to eject a Class D asteroid out of the solar system. And we've already got a million fund advance for that. I need to fulfill that contract at some point. Um, before I pick anything else up, oh, we've got these two. This is a, with the contract uh, with the admin building stuff. I've now made this a little bit more complicated to assess. But okay, let me check out a class D asteroid. So this was a class C that we had here. We we don't really want that anymore. Our existing tugs won't be good enough to get a class class D. We'll have to come up with a new system for that, but they'll they'll be a good start. Okay, that's a class E. That's a class C. Class C. Well, there's a class A we could get. That's not a class C. Uh, let's track that one. Okay. Um. Let's add an alarm for that SOI change. Let me say that that's class A. And let me give myself six hours on that. Okay, uh, so we've got a class A there. That's class E. That's class B. So we don't actually have a class D to wrangle. That's annoying. Well, we'll have to wait on that. Uh, I guess we can pick up that uh, Class A contract just so that we can fulfill some contracts and get more funds. So yeah, okay, Class A, fine. We've, we'll get that. What else? Position a satellite in a specific orbit. It doesn't seem like... Oh, is this already adding into that? No. Because otherwise, then 611 would show up here. That's a lot of science. There's something wrong here, I think. We should do some sort of jewel mission. We've got uh, Explore Jewel here. So we should uh, get Explore Bop, Explore Paul. We don't have any limit to it, uh, our contracts. Well, I guess build new orbital station. That's funny. It has plus 1,737 under the advance. But I don't think we're going to get that like that, are we? Because otherwise we would have gotten science here. I don't understand this at all. Okay, uh, but um, yeah. Mega jewel mission thing seems to be an idea. All right, well I'll pick that up too. Obviously these would be easy now. I'm I'm curious whether we're going to actually get this bonus. So uh, they say plant a flag on the moon. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that right now. 
I'm gonna head on over to Moon and have a Kerbal plant a flag and see what happens to our science. Okay, here we are in the remarkably complex moon base. Well, I mean complex enough to create lag at least. Um, so let's have Desiric... Uh oh, hold on. I think I'll wait until physics settles down here. Uh, that was an interesting bounce by the core of our of our uh, base here. But alright, uh, alright, uh, well, well let's have Dan me do it. Hatch is obstructed. Hatch is down here, it shouldn't be considered obstructed. Oh, uh, oh they're there. Or, well whatever, anyway. He's there, so. Let's go with this one. It's about time we planted a flag at our base anyway. Yep, our contract got fulfilled. The question is, how much science do we get out of it? I'm not going to reveal that just yet. Can you imagine getting a whole bundle of science just from planting a flag? That would be very weird. But okay, anyway, uh, so I'm not going to be too creative here. Moon base alpha. Okay. Do you suppose we can target this while landing here without causing tremendous lag? That's a good question. Okay, let's get him back into the gold bug. Maybe we should transfer him to something with a little bit more life support. Then again, uh, well, uh, let me see. The Kerbatat has 418 days. Gold bug with one person, it only has 261. Yeah, let's let's get you in the habitat actually. Actually, we've got a little bit of. Well, we'll have to transfer uh, our remaining Kerbal from the Ford pod into the Hitchhiker can in order to get him out. Okay, board. Alright. Little guy's in. There you go, Desrick's in. And that reduces this habitat's. Life support down to what? Where are you, Kerbatat? Okay, 334 days. Well, that's fine. And that's better than the gold bug. Okay. Back to the space center if the program doesn't crash on me, which it probably will. Oh my god. Folks, I think we've got a problem. I don't think I should be getting 5,000. <laughs> we just got 5,000 science from that. Hold on. Let me... Forget it. Can we... Yeah. I think this is this is a bad thing. Yeah, yeah. Cancel. <laughs> cancel. No. This is probably not, not doing something right. Uh, probably the upgrade or something. Uh, do, do our contracts look like they make more sense now? Now they look like they make make sense. Hold on, let me check the ones that we picked up here. Yeah, yeah. Now, now the numbers look all right. Well, the that well that always was worth quite a lot. Six hundred only here. Okay, okay, okay. So it was some crazy effect of that those admin building things, which that that's a little bit too far off for planting a flag. Five thousand signs. No, I, I don't need that. I. I need a ruling on on whether I should keep this or whether I should dump it out of the of the whole thing. Our research and development building is fully operational, so if we if we agree that I should keep it, then I can probably unlock most of this stuff and we won't be Yeah, I mean I think we might be short a little bit of science to unlock this final tier, but we can unlock a lot of it. And after that we're basically going to be in sandbox 
So anyway, uh, I'll get comments about that. Oh, there we go. So this I have over there. That's actually the emergency hab. And we've got a workshop that's great, but I have limited idea of what that means. Orbital shipyard. Wait a second. I didn't see this. Orbital shipyard? Can we do that? Rocket parts? That's pretty radical. Huh. Well, I don't know how that works. That looks interesting. That's that's just from MKS OKS stuff. Do we even need extra planetary launch pads if we have that? Okay, guys, I think I'm missing something here. I mean, I've got extra planetary launch pads installed, but I could have sworn there was a launch pad thing majig here in pods. And it's not there right now. We didn't get as much done as I'd normally like, but uh, what we did get done took so long because of the need to restart that uh, I'll, I'll try and trim things out, but I need to figure out where the heck the extra la planetary launch pads parts went. And so I'm going to look into that. I need some advice about what to do about this science stuff. Whether I should just use it or whether I should edit it down. I mean I got the funds for planning the flag so it's not like it'll, it'll be a total loss but I can edit down to back down to three. Alright so uh, but we'll leave it here for now and I'll say thank you for watching if you enjoyed this episode please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time.